Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to control Arduino using Visual Studio Windows Form application. So, let's get started. The first part is with the Arduino. So here is the Arduino code. Here we're creating a serial communication between the computer and uh, the Arduino in the speed of 9600 bit per second. Here we are cre um, in a defining pin 13 as an output. So, and here inside the world loop which contains our program, we're saying if there is a serial data coming from the computer to the Arduino, then we're storing those data inside the variable called data. If that variable, if the content of that variable is equal to the character A, then we're turning the uh, pin 13 or the LED on the pin 13 to on. So we're lighting up the pin, the, uh, the LED on the pin 13 else we will turn it off so this is the part of the arduino i'm gonna leave uh, the link in, in the description you can download the whole code uh, now we are moving to the microsoft visual studio port so go to file new project windows windows form application name it whatever you want uh, I already uh, created a new project, called it LED, so no need to do it again. First thing you want to do is to go to tall box and search for serial port. Double click, it will be added to your, uh, to your uh, program. So here you notice that we have created a new serial port object. Uh, click it and then go to properties. Uh, scroll down till you find modifiers uh, change this to public so you will be able to access it from other other classes so make sure that you change it to public or this won't work and search for the baud rate and uh, leave it as 9600 or the same speed that you uh, that you have programmed your Arduino to work with so, uh, in my case, 9600, so 9600. And then scroll down till you find the port name. So, I go back to Arduino, go to Tools, Serial Port, it is COM4. So, I need to make it COM4 in my Visual Studio. Next, I'm gonna double click. Uh, or let me create a new button uh, to control the Arduino. So I'm gonna toolbox, then type in button, add one button, two buttons. So here we've created two buttons. I'm gonna make this uh, a button to, to turn on the LED and this will turn it off. So go click on the first button, go to properties, I'm gonna change it to it's named on, it's text to on, and this to off. Then I'm gonna go to the first button, double click. It has created a new button click event. So before typing anything inside this event, go up till you find this public form. Enter initialized component, you need to add this line. So serial port one, or whatever you're serial port name is serial port, serial port object okay then open this will open the port so you'll be able to access it then go down to inside the uh, the button click event and uh, type in serial port one dot right and I'm gonna type in A because the A is the uh, the character that I have programmed Arduino to turn the LED on. So let me demonstrate how this works. So I go back 
the Arduino serial monitor. If I type in capital letter A, the LED turns on. If I uh, type in any other thing, the LED turns off. So I want to control it from the Visual Studio. Uh, so that's why I've set serial port uh, 1.write A. So go back to the design, double click on the other button, and then serial port 1. Dot right and I'm gonna type in any other thing that will turn the LED off and I'm gonna save and I'm gonna start the program so if I go and click on this button the LED turns on off on off on off so it is working uh, if you guys want to do this uh, with the uh, with the uh, console application you can find the link on the description also if you want to do this in Windows form application you can do it in uh, a different way without using the serial port object just like in the uh, console application so here it is so thank you guys for watching uh, please uh, like uh, thumbs up subscribe for my channel for more videos and uh, if you need more help, uh, any suggestion, anything you want, just uh, send me a message or anything and uh, I'll do my best uh, to help. So thanks guys for watching and see you later.